everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make three cookie and candy Thanksgiving treats. Now Thanksgiving in Canada is happening this year on October 12th. It's a little bit earlier than the American Thanksgiving. So I want to wish all of our viewers a happy Thanksgiving and I hope you enjoy these really easy, yummy treats for Thanksgiving. First, I'm going to show you how to make the turkey. We're going to be using pumpkin spice Oreos because it is the season for everything pumpkin spice. But if you don't have these or you don't want to use them, you can use regular Oreos like vanilla or the regular chocolate. But I do suggest to use double stuff because it makes it a little, little bit easier. We're also going to be using some melted chocolate. Now in here, I've got all the different parts for the turkey. We've got some blue sprinkles for the eyes, some hearts for the feet, and mini hearts for the little waddle. And we've got some little orange beaks. Those are candy covered um, sunflower seeds. And we're going to be using some candy corn here. And in this bowl, I've got mini Rolos and I've got little Whoppers or Maltesers as we call them in Canada. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to have two Oreos ready here and I'm going to cut this one just a little bit off the edge here with a serrated knife just about like probably about that much there and then with my melted chocolate I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom here like this I'm just going to spread it out and then I'm going to press it onto this Oreo slightly like as far back as I can get it and I'm just going to hold it there until it sets. Once the two cookie pieces are together, I'm going to take my candy corn and I'm just going to dip the end of the candy corn into the melted chocolate and then I'm going to place it in between the two cookie layers. So this is where why having a double stuffed Oreo comes in handy. So you can use different colors of the candy corns. You can use all the same color. They come in all sorts of varieties now. So I'm just going to go around the outside and I'm going to add probably like six or eight. I'll see how many I can get on here. Now that we've got our back line of feathers here with the candy corn down, I'm going to take one of the Rolos and just cut a little bit off the back, just about, just a tiny amount there. And then taking my melted chocolate, I'm just going to put a little bit on the bottom and on the side there. And I'm going to stick it down to the front. That's gonna be like the body. And then I'm going to take one of the Whoppers or Maltesers, if you like, put a little bit of chocolate on there and then pop that on the top like that. So once the body and the head has hardened together, we can do the second row of little tail feathers. So I'm just going to cut the tip off of this candy corn because the one that goes above the head needs to be a little bit shorter in order for it to stick there. I'm just going to put some melted chocolate on the back of that and then just kind of press it down there and just kind of hope it stays actually. And then going to take the rest of the candy corns and go around the outside, sticking them around the outside of the body. Again, just like we did at the top. So once we have all the feathers on and the bodies together, we're going to do the little bit of detail work. I'm going to take a little blue sprinkle. I'm just going to put a little bit of chocolate on it. And then I'm going to just put it on the top here of the head and just make sure it stays and repeat that for the other eye. Here we go, a little bit of chocolate in there. And then I'm gonna take one of the little sunflower seeds. Ooh, they're a little tricky to hold here. And I'm going to, once I get it, I'm gonna put some chocolate on the back of that one too. Stick it on there like that. And we're gonna have to coax them to stay in place. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Just gonna fix them a little bit here like that get the beak up come on beak there we go and i'm going to take one of the little heart sprinkles and just stick that to the chocolate on the side here with these tweezers here and just kind of stick it right in there just like that let that harden so our last step for the turkey is to take the larger heart sprinkles, get a little bit of chocolate on those, and then just put them down in front as the turkey's feet. So I'm going to finish those off and I'm going to show you our second cookie treat, candy treat, up next. To make the pilgrim hats, we're going to be using these small round chocolate covered cookies. We're going to need some melted chocolate and we're going to be using orange, yellow, and red icings. And they're all fit with a number four tip, but you could use any size you want. And we're also going to be using um, these little Rolos. 
First thing we're going to do is we're going to have our round cookie here. The outside is going to act as the brim of the hat. And I'm going to take a Rolo and just put a little bit of chocolate on the bottom. And then I'm just going to flip it over and put it in the center of the cookie and just let that harden. So you can use any of your colors for the next step. I'm just going to take my orange and I'm just going to squeeze while I go and just kind of turn this around like this. And that's just going to give me a little bit of color kind of at the base of this upper part of the hat. With the color added around the brim there, we're going to add like a little gold buckle with the yellow icing. So I'm just going to do a little square here and then fill it in with the icing. So our last step to our hat is to add a little bit of that orange back in the middle so it kind of looks like the, buck, the buckle has a little piece in the center, just like that. So up next we're going to do our third idea. To make the acorn, we're going to be using Nutter Butter cookies. If you can't find these ones, you can just use kind of like oblong shaped ones or oval shaped cookies. We're going to be using little tiny sprinkles that are shaped like leaves. If you can't find these, you can just use any sort of sprinkle that's in the fall colors that will look great. We're also going to be using melted chocolate to stick everything together. And finally, we're going to be using little pieces of these long pretzel sticks. To make the acorn, we take a whole Nutter Butter and we're just going to cut it in half to get those two sections and this will make two acorns. Just kind of dust it off a little bit of the crumbs and then take that cut end, dip it into the chocolate, just kind of wiggling it around so it comes all over the top and the sides and then I'm going to dip this into the little leaf sprinkles and you can just push them up if you need to, kind of like get them back at the top and I'm missing some there so just going to press that back into there. Perfect like that. I'm just going to set that down for just a second and I'm going to break off a piece of the pretzel just like that, dipping it into the melted chocolate and then sticking it in between here and holding it until it is set. So that's all you have to do for the little acorns. So there you go everybody, how to make these adorably cute Thanksgiving treats. So we did little pilgrim hats, we did little turkeys with candy corn and pumpkin spice Oreos, which are oh so good, and we did little mini adorable acorns. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial today. Remember to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all of our newest videos. And if you're interested in more Thanksgiving ideas, make sure you check out the playlist, which will link for you in the description box below. Happy Thanksgiving, fellow Canadians, and and I will see you guys again next time.